Welcome to my studio. My name is April Sproul and my business is Sproul Studios. I've developed a collection of stencils called textile design stencils for printing and painting on fabric. Today I'd like to demonstrate for you my basic stenciling techniques with the textile design stencils. And one thing I wanted to, to let you know is that the real beauty of these stencils that they, is that they really don't require any previous painting or drawing experience. Another great advantage of these stencils is that they have perforated lines where the stencils are cut apart. They're created with a modular concept so that you can easily use the separate pieces to create multiple designs. Here's a little sample that I've created and I'll walk you through this step by step so you see exactly how I do it. One of the most important things I've discovered is that I use sandpaper, just plain ordinary sandpaper underneath my fabric to hold it in place and keep it from shifting around. And I get no movement or distortion whatsoever from the sandpaper. So I'm going to begin with my stem portion of the nasturtium. I'm going to dip my brush in the paint Rub it out so I only have a small amount of paint on the brush and then begin gently, gently rubbing from the outside and working in towards the center of the shape. I can add more paint if I need to. Rub it out. Can lift up a corner. Check if you have enough paint and then move right on to your next step. So next we're going to do the petals of the flower. I'll be using an orange that I mixed from the primaries. Again, dip your brush in, rub it out. Working in a circular motion, just keep going around and around until your paint's dark enough. Check it before you pull it all the way off. Then I'm going to add some highlights. So you leave your stencil right in place. I'm using a gold metallic now. So I'm working in the center of those shapes. and creating a very modeled effect. There is my flower. When you begin getting transfers of paint around the edges, that means you're adding too much paint at once, so you can just apply it more slowly. Now I'm going to add a leaf over the top of the nasturtium flower and I'll show you how I work around shapes that are already there and that's how I create my layering effects. So I'm going to stencil up to the stem but not over it and as I get closer to the stem I'll just apply my paint a little lighter. Now again, I can check. I can just pull up my corner, see if it's dark enough. Need a little bit more in the center. Just for a little more definition. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and please check out my website for more examples of the textile design stencils.